In XT, you can create a component and add multiple states to it, even adding interactions to mimic real-world user behavior. These types of components that change appearance based on user interactions are invaluable for creating high-fidelity prototypes. Having components with states also makes it easier to manage your assets and to create interactive design systems. Now, once you've created a component, like the button created in a previous video, with it selected, if you look in the Property Inspector, you'll see a section dedicated to components that shows a listing of any states associated with it. Every component starts with a single state called default. You can add two types of states to a component, new state and hover state, and you can see them if you click the plus here. The new state is used for scenarios where you wanna show variations of a component, like a disabled button or a clicked version of a component. Or for this example, where I have a single master component with nested icons or components within, it has defined states for each version of the icon. Know that if you apply a new state to a component, you can interact with the states using interactions when you're prototyping. You can also use hover state if you want a component to change and display a different state when a user hovers over the component. With this button selected, click the plus and choose hover state. The little lightning bolt right there indicates that it's an action that happens automatically. Now, after you add a state to your component, with the state selected over here, you can edit the properties of the component for that state. So for instance, if you go in and double click the component to select the button body, you can maybe change the color. With an appearance change made, to see the states again, you need to select the component and not the rectangle on the button. So press the escape key. If you click back on the default state, you can see the difference. Then click back on the hover state to see what that looks like. You can only add, rename, and delete states from a master component. If you select the instance here, it automatically inherits any state changes made in the master component. In this case, the text for my home button in the hover state is now button. So I would need to change that, and that would be an override for the hover state on the instance. To truly test out the interactivity in the button, open the preview window. Whatever state was selected for the component is what you're gonna see in the preview. So make sure that the default state is selected. Come back into the preview window and move the pointer over the button to see the change.